What's good YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, like if y'all please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rimmer Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe and y'all in this video I'm gonna be discussing something that a lot of people are not gonna agree with. I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you now. I already know a lot of y'all not gonna agree with this, but I feel like it needs to be said, it needs to be spoken on, because that's just what we do over here at Rebel Rage TV. We don't tell you what you wanna hear, we tell you what you need to hear, we tell you a lot of things that might make you uncomfortable, but they're the truth nonetheless. Or at least they are very, very educated opinions at the very least, alright? What do I mean by that? In this video, I'm going to be discussing why I think the way NetherRealm is handling the release of that next game is is the perfect way to handle it. Now, let's speak on it. Now, what do I mean by that? What do you mean by the, the way they're handling the next game, the release of the next game is the perfect way to handle it? Allow me to explain. With NetherRealm, you understand what I'm saying? The last game they've released is obviously, as you see in the background, Mortal Kombat 11. A lot of people like Mortal Kombat 11. To be honest, there's a lot to like about the game. There, there are a lot of things to like about the game. To be honest, that, to be like, for instance, and to be honest, this is probably still to this day the great, the graphically at least, the greatest looking fighting game I have ever laid eyes on in my life. I haven't seen a fighting game that looks better than this. You understand what I'm saying? So they have the foundation right there as it is already. And then you look at the you you, you look at the way the game. You look at the you look at the foundation of the game. The game looks good. It just needs some tweaks. It just needs some fixes. You understand what I'm saying? So the game has the foundation to be one of the greatest fighting games of all time. You understand what I'm saying? The things that hold it back are things like poor mechanics, things like bad hitboxes, things like a story that doesn't make sense. You understand what I'm saying? But the foundation for a great game is there. It is. That's the reason why even after NetherRealm said they're not putting out any more support for the game, hence the reason why you see so many people still playing and you see so many people coming back, including my Myself, coming back to play the game because you know for either they they either get paid to do so or you know they just decided they don't have any other fighting game to play right now so this is just this will just to have to suffice for right now until we get another one now with the passing game awards right Passing game awards uh, go check it out if YouTube hasn't blocked it because of fucking WB go figure WB and me showing off the matrix video game which I didn't know was illegal now <clears throat> if it's still up there stream the game awards you understand what I'm saying and at the game awards, most big YouTubers, especially the YouTubers that 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 are just infatuated with Mortal Kombat 11, with with guys that you know are just fighting game heads, you understand what I'm saying? Guys that truly support NetherRealm, you understand what I'm saying? I'm not gonna mention any names here because I don't want to come off as disrespectful. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to disrespect anybody on the channel that's a for, that's a, a fellow content creator. You understand what I'm saying? Because you can't grow that way. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the YouTubers out there, a lot of the bigger YouTubers out there that you know that are known for Mortal Kombat 11, that are known for playing Mortal Kombat 11, came out and said, "Oh, well, we definitely gonna get something at the Game Awards. We didn't get anything at E3." And a lot of fans, I believe that. And you know, it, with, with a rumor like that going around, it's hard not to believe it. You want to believe it because you know you're ready to move on from Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat 11 had its time and had its faults. You know, that didn't really get worked on. So why not move work? Why not move on to the next game? Why not work, look look forward to the next game? I know I damn sure was, but as I said before the Game Awards, don't go in the Game Awards expecting anything from NetherRealm when they haven't said anything. You understand what I'm saying? If you don't hear it said from them, take everything you hear with a grain of salt. As, as, as a wise man once told me, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. You understand what I'm saying? And until you, unless it's from a verified source of the person that is taught, that that is giving you that information, it has has gone above and beyond to prove their case. As they as they used to say to 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 make themselves relevant to make themselves legitimate in the sense of they know what they're talking about, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. You understand what I'm saying? Now, having said all that, at the Game Awards, at Game Awards came and passed. We had all kind of different awards for video games come and go, and NetherRealm has not said anything. And to be honest with you, this is the perfect way to handle it. Because the way they ended off Mortal Kombat 11 and then Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath, which I think was 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 Aftermath itself was pretty ridiculous in my in my honest opinion, and it really didn't make sense at all. Like some things made sense, but then it was just like you know, a lot of it was just head scratching shit. Like why would this happen? Why would this go on? You understand what I'm saying? I can go down a litany of of, of things that that definitely shouldn't have happened in in the story in the story mode alone, let alone this game. Now I haven't said all that. The reason why I think NetherRealm is handling this situation with that next game perfectly is for the simple fact that. 
everything is in the air. With the way they ended Mortal Kombat 11, they ended it to where they literally could do whatever they want. They could take this franchise wherever they want to. That is both both a blessing and a curse. Because you look at it, they can take it anywhere they want to, yeah, but then the question right after that comes, well, where the hell do we take it? You understand what I'm saying? To be honest with you, it would not surprise me if NetherRealm had nothing to show for the simple fact that they they still, to this day, don't truly know exactly what direction they want to go. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 look, I'm not. This is not a video of me bashing another realm or anything like that. Hell, I'm giving them praise for doing something right for 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 once in a while. You understand what I'm saying? This is not me bashing another realm. Oh, they 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 stupid. They don't know. That. You know, with with the way they ended this this current story, it, you can take it anywhere, but you don't know exactly where you want to take it. And I think that that's the situation right now with another realm. But right now, if they don't, if that is the case, this is not anything that I know for sure. This is just my opinion, y'all. So again, take it with a grain of salt. It's just my opinion. All right. Though in the situation, they probably don't know exactly. They don't know where they want to go with the story right now. The fact that they got people still wondering and guessing and still trying to make videos speculating and everything like that. They've got people right where they want them. Because in this instance, if you got people that are still trying to wonder when the next game is coming out, what the next game is even going to be. As long as you can keep that on the hush-hush, you will always be in the middle of a conversation. You will always be the topic of somebody's conversation. You understand what I'm saying? And then to be honest, y'all, what's wrong with being surprised? Like, goddamn. This is the this is the this is the era where literally we have every bit of information given to us in the palm of our hand. We literally have knowledge at our fingertips, y'all. You think I'm lying? What do you think Google go go and Google some shit right off your phone is? You literally are in the era where you don't have to think for yourself. We're literally in an era where everything is spoiled before it's even released. Everything is data mined. Everything, you know, <clears throat> nothing can be a surprise anymore. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what I that and and that's what I'm a fan of. I'm a, I'm old school. I'm a fan of surprises. I'm like this. As long as NetherRealm gives me a good solid game, I could give a shit what it is. And I think honestly, other if they don't know where they're going, I think that's what they're trying to aim for. At least that's what I'm hoping for. You understand what I'm saying? That they are going to take that they are going to take everybody's anticipation, everybody's, you know, readiness to play the next game, and then so it gets to the point to where no matter what they release, People are going to buy it, they're going to eat it up, and then, you know, for the most part, if the game doesn't play like shit, are going to enjoy what they have in their hands. You understand what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion. I think that they're playing it great by keeping it on the hush-hush. Let it be a surprise. Let people speculate. Let people do what they do. So by the time they release their game, everything will work out in their favor and everything will be fine. But that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about the way the uh, the next NetherRealm game release is being handled. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? As long as you're married, respectful, and logical, we can have a conversation. That's the end of my video. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time.